Um, Bubba Hey, Last Outrider here. You thought you knew 40k, but now I'm going to break your brain. Here's we start with part one of Kotex Skitari. A force unstoppable. Knowledge is power. To know the galaxy's hidden secrets, power beyond reckoning. Across the galaxy, the Skitari legions march to victory. The air fizzes and crackles around their guns. The stink of ozone mingling with the choking tang of cordite and burning flesh. Each fusillade expends enough energy to power a hab block for a year. But to the Skatari overlords, it is resource well spent. With each kill, with each casualty sustained, the cult Mechanicus learns a little more. To a man, the Skatari are warriors born. They take pride in their holy work, glorying in the power of the Omnissiah as he drives them to ever greater feats. Reticles and calibrators pick out targets with uncanny accuracy. Galvanic rifles bark and servitor bullets find the skulls of the foe. Rad weapons, born with martyr's strength, turn the battlefield ever more toxic until it is as befouled as the red planet's own wastes. Nothing can break the surety and cohesion of the Skatari legions. Not adversity, nor corruption, nor might of arms. They fight knowing that the unflinching gaze of the machine god is upon them, and that the enemy has been measured and found wanting. On titanium limbs, the Skatari stalk the war zones of the galaxy, looking from above like the columns of rust ants that haunt the dunes of Mars. Their boundless faith in the machine god and his prophet, the Omnissiah, drives them on without sleep. Their meditations on divinity are rest enough. Once contact is made with the enemy, their pace slackens not at all, yet neither does it increase. With the barest shivers, the Skatari receive doctrina imperatives from the tech priest masters in orbit. Rifles and carbines are raised to shoulders in perfect uniform, unison, and bloody war begins. At first, the enemy believes victory to be theirs for the taking. Who are these once men, these warrior automatons who have sacrificed their humanity on the altar of uncaring iron. Do they expect to prevail simply by walking into the enemy's guns? The answers are slow to dawn and terrifying. The cult Mechanicus cares not if a million Skitari are blasted apart, for in killing them, the enemy yield their secrets to hungry eyes. One cohort dies only for another to take its place and fight on all the harder. The calculations are complete. The simulations are run. Whatever the enemy may feel, the Skitare have already developed the countermeasures, and more besides. Surrender falls on deaf ears, 
for it is worth nothing to the dark scientists of the cult mechanicus. So the death toll spirals even higher. Listen well, for the time of the Medeptus Mechanicus is nigh. There you go. How was that? Um, now you know that basically the Borg have come to 40k. Necrons are Terminator. Well, they used to be Terminator. Now who knows what the hell they are. I think they're Tomb Lords from uh, Fantasy Battle now. But um, the Borg are now in 40k. If you want to know what the Adeptus Mechanicus is, that's how they work. You shoot them, you shoot them, you shoot them, they die. The next Legion comes in with adaptations to whatever weapons and tactics you're using. And the more you kill them, the stronger they get. How the rules on that work, I'll get into that later, because now we're just going to keep going over the fluff of it. And next time we're going to be talking about the soldiers of the machine god. Until then, bye. <laughs>